now rearranged lung cancer was actually discovered only in 2007. And since then, only in 2011, there is a discovery and confirmation of the drug chrysotinib proved effective in the management of the patient with this translocation. So ever since then, we have routinely been looking for patients with this specific ALK translocation. Now every patient with adenocarcinoma, uh, after the, we do the GGI mutation, we will also look into the ALK present absence. If presence, the first line treatment will be chrysotinib. The difference of being able to identify patient ALK transformation is significant. Because we now have a molecular target therapy, which is namely a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, that we're able to uh, control the cancer growth rather significantly. The response rate typically is around 70%, meaning that 70 or 100 patients who use the drug will have dramatic reduction of the tumor. Furthermore, it actually uh, will be able to control the disease for a longer duration of time. We actually have the study called the POL51014, which we published in New England Journal of Medicine back in 2014, and proved with the randomized phase three study for L positive patient that there is superiority in both the progression free survival and the response rate comparing Christotinib to standard chemotherapy. So, so one of the big breakthroughs in the care of patients with lung cancer has been the understanding that we need to test patients for the presence of certain alterations to pick the best therapies for them. So one of the major breakthroughs in the care of patients with lung cancer has been the understanding that we need to test patients for the presence of ALK rearrangements. We know these occur in about 4 to 6 percent of patients with lung cancer. The reason it's so important to test is because we have such effective therapies to use for these patients. And, and the main therapy uh, that's been around that's shown the dr most dramatic benefit has been crizotinib. So crizotinib is an oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor that inhibits the ALK uh, rearrangement. It, it is a effective therapy that's been proven to be better than chemotherapy as your first choice of therapy. So really the standard of care globally is to know the patient's ALK status, to test for that, and then offer them an option such as crizotinib to effectively control the cancer, to, to allow patients to achieve high response rates, what are called durable response rates, where not only are you shrinking the cancer, but you're maintaining that control, that remission for extended periods. Now there are some patients who won't benefit. It's rare, but you'll have some patients who never get that response or they get the response and it's short-lived. That's very frustrating. Fortunately, it's a minority of the patients we care for. Most patients, the majority of patients, will get real shrinkage in cancer and sustained benefits for many months. And many uh, physicians who, who've treated a lot of patients with alk range lung cancer will, will tell you about the patients they have with drugs like crizotinib where they've gotten good control for even years. And that is quite rewarding to never have to offer a patient chemotherapy uh, and really maintain good control not only in their body but in the brain. Uh, it's, been, it's been a fantastic development and it's really a standard of care in, in how we manage patients with lung cancer.